Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Uh, I had an awful migraine um, last night, uh, so bad that my, my man had to get Gemma for the night because it was absolutely awful. And this is w with me taking, you know, a, a Botox for the migraines and with medication. So that was, that was hard. Um, and uh, yeah, no, that was like a tough thing to be through. Um, I do struggle with them, you know, the migraines. Uh, but with Botox, it's been so much better. But now with um, with these, um, I feel like I'm getting it again. Um, these uh, sinus infections. I can feel that it's like infecting me as we speak. Um, it's getting much worse. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do. I just told my patrons I'm looking into every way of, of um, strengthening my immune system because I'm so tired of this. I don't really know how to deal with it anymore. I feel like I'm giving up, um, but it is what it is. And uh, we have an infrared sauna that hasn't worked. That, that it's I'm so angry with that. Like I'm so angry with these. Um, with my man for not fixing it and with the uh, with the um the workers you know that installed it and then there was like there was they did something wrong with the with the water so so the electric system is like broken then it's taken you know like i'm not joking like six months to get this fixed and then they fixed it and it worked for like one day and then it didn't work anymore and then they're like it worked when we left so it should like we did our job like there's no pride, you know, in, in doing a good job. That's something that I miss with France. Because French people are arrogant and then they're assholes in so many ways. But, but they have a pride in their profession. At least they want to do what you're doing really good. And I don't see that really in Sweden. I think uh, especially not in the, in the construction workers. They have no pride in their job, and especially not the ones that did our job. But I, I also hear that my friends are suffering from the same thing. Um, anyways, I'm grateful. Um, I'm grateful for the life I live. I've been floating today, and that's that's such a magic experience. If you haven't tried it, I recommend you to do that. It's really kind of like an out of body experience uh, because you. You lose the gravity when you're floating around. And, um, and, uh, uh, and the warmth, you know, um, it's like uh, the same temperature as your body. So it's like hard to know what is you and what is, you know, water, air, like yada yada. So it is like floating around really like in space and it's pitch black. Um, it's, it's yeah, so it's an out of body experience. I'm just gonna tell. They tried to sneak. I told them like for 15 minutes, like they should be quiet. <laughs> and uh, then they aren't, you know, <laughs> it's just 15 minutes is an easy thing to do. Uh. But then they try to sneak and I would have done the same, but then I have to tell them. <laughs> uh, I'm very grateful that we have the boys back. We've been watching um, the Christmas, like uh, the advent calendar today, catching up for last week and it's so much fun to have them back home um, I am very grateful for uh, uh, I'm very grateful for the support we have you know with our parents like my in-laws and my parents we're celebrating Christmas with them uh, both of them and uh, 
and you know we're kind of organizing together like uh, uh, my mother is uh, cooking some parts and his mother is cooking some parts and I'm cooking some parts and um, and uh, it feels it feels like it's going to be a smooth Christmas who knows if it's right or not but it feels like it and I'm, I'm excited about it and um, and, uh, and happy about that uh, I'm also absolutely exhausted, you know, getting unwell constantly, really, it really eats me up. I'm so over it. Um, I just don't want to, like, feel sick ever again. Like, yeah, anyways, we're going to do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Serve your breath and worry in your body. Your breath is slowly. Start taking control of our breath on the inhalation. Feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the front. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale. Very good job, we're gonna do the hip row, inhale forward. And we're going to switch direction. Mm. 
very easy to hear Gemma screaming in the background. <laughs> Don't focus on the baby crying. We're gonna do a wide leg forward one. Oh, let's work there. Um, so on the inhalation, come up with both your arms and on the exhalation, come over your uh, right leg. On the inhalation, straighten up your back. And on the exhalation, see if you can come further down. and we're gonna do the same over the other leg so inhale come up with both your arms and exit come over your left leg breathe if you're like me breathe with your mouth if you can breathe through your nose you do that Inhale, come up, and we're gonna do the same just uh, straight forward. So, go up with both your arms and exhale, grab hold of your big toes on the inhalation, straighten up, and on the exhalation, come further. We're going to finish today's class with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye that you ignored. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti. Place 
you palms to your forehead so you have to think it what to say to your mouth you have to speak the truth and to your heart you have to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself as well as that namaste thank you so much for today remember to go thank you i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow